What's up guys, this is Mark from DSGNE and welcome to DSG 101 on the Sun and Dropshipping of today. Basically what we're going to do is compare what dropshipping was previously, what it is now, the changes and how that affects your business and, and your basic daily activity. Dropshipping of the past. So dropshipping was uh, a business where you registered for specific wholesalers, dropshipping companies, manufacturers, or specific lists where you get these items, generally limited to a niche, and you would sell them on eBay or your e-commerce store. Okay. Previously, these things would cost a monthly fee, a yearly fee, and so on, and you're, you're basically limited to what they provide you. As the internet has changed and a lot of retailers have become bigger and the prices have gone down, this model has changed. Dropshipping of today. So basically dropshipping has become retail arbitrage. Retail arbitrage is just you selling retail and buying retail. And you're selling it for a higher price retail and making a profit margin. right? For those of you who have never dropshipped before, it works and I can give you a basic example. I've had situations where I can think of a specific chest of drawers that I sell and supply from Sears. When it's on sale, Sears sells it for, for $39.99. I, I sell it for about $55. Bucks. But the same chest of drawers is sold on Amazon currently for $80, right? These are three re retail stores, Amazon, eBay, and Sears. I am selling it higher than Sears. Amazon is selling it higher than I am. And they're being sold on all three websites. The volume may differ, but I, I just give that example to, as hard evidence that this actually works. For those of you who currently dropship, that, that example is of no consequence because you know this works. So basically we use all retailers at this point. So all retailers are an option once you could sell it as a higher, at a higher price. You're not limited to those few drop shipping or wholesaling companies that, that facilitate drop shipping anymore. There, there is a disadvantage and advantage. The disadvantage is the profit margin generally now will be a little lower. The advantage is you have a much wider range of items that could be sold on eBay. In our case, we're focusing on eBay. This little diagram is basically how dropshipping was looked at. And may, some people still today look at dropshipping like this, right? So you, the customer comes, buy an item from your eBay listing, pays you, you use the money, purchase from the dropshipper or, or the supplier, and send it to the customer. This is, rel this is relatively accurate, but I, I have a problem with, with how it is thought or how it is visualized in your mind and how you use that to solve problems in your dropshipping business, right? So this is how I choose to look at dropshipping and how I suggest you guys look at dropshipping. Dropshipping today is basically comprised of two separate actions. The first action that you see on top here is selling. The second action is buying. And the reason why you separate this is so you can solve problems differ differently. The selling part of the process is basically you listing on eBay at a higher price than you would have would be buying it at and, and strategically titling it and pricing it and so on to get continuous sales. Selling is Put buying, I mean, is simple. You go to the website and send it to the customer. It's two separate actions. You sell on one end and you go to a website and buy it on the other end. And another reason for separating these two, well, on the on the buyer side, one reason we separate these two is a lot of people think that there are limited number of suppliers. If you understand that all you need to do is on one hand sell an item. On the other hand, purchase it and ship it to an address, you wouldn't have this clouded view that there are only specific suppliers that facilitate dropshipping. If you could figure out how to continuously ship items from Walmart to various addresses or from Target to various addresses, and you know that 
they refund money quickly and it ship consistently and so on, you wouldn't have that view of you need specific drop shippers and so on. You'll be able to make your own decision on who to use. I mean, we would provide in further training what we think is the best practice or who we think are the best suppliers, but the purpose of separating the action uh, so you can look at it a little differently. And I mean, I, I just went through this. So the reason for separating the two actions is so that we'll consider all retailers as potential suppliers, um, address fulfillment issues. And, and that is important, and, and I keep bringing up Walmart. I've had customers, or I've had sellers, that stopped using Walmart once, once um, volume went up. And this is because when you first start selling from Walmart, let's say you're selling five items a day or even 10 items a day, you could use your same Walmart account shipped to 10 different addresses every day and it would not cancel any orders. Um, if you understand that all you're doing is shopping on Walmart and shipping to different addresses, you would solve that problem. I have solved that problem and we go through that in further training, but you wouldn't have this thought of, oh, I hope Walmart does not shut my account down and all this type of stuff. I've heard that too many times and that really is of no consequence if you just realize you're selling on one end and then buying on the other end, right? There are many options and we'll get into that in the future. And the third reason for separating these two actions is some demystified drop shipping. I mean, it's exactly what I said. All these, all these thoughts about, oh, I hope this or I hope I can they're okay with me drop shipping. Or I don't know where that, that thought process came from. I, I'm guessing because of what drip, drop shipping was previously, but it's a more open playing field and, and it is required a little more critical thinking in solving those problems. And to conclude, I mean this was a short training program, so I'll just go over really quickly. A short module, sorry. Drop shipping is now retail arbitrage, and I hope you, you remember what that is. Um, the process is made up of two separate actions or activities. Selling on the first hand, where you put up an item with a title at a specific price, and, and then buying. Where once it is sold, you go to a retailer, purchase the item, and ship it to the address of the person who bought it. If you f and if drop shipping is, is as simple as if you figure out how to sell consistently at a higher price than, than you buy it for, you will make money. You need to take out all this thought process of there's some secret place to get these items. And I mean, there are, there are other methods of drop shipping or other methods of, of e-commerce and selling online, but we are focused on drop shipping on eBay and this is definitely a, a solid successful way of adoption. I thank you for joining me for this module and I hope you learned something. I hope it opened up your mind a little bit and I look forward to seeing you again on the next module. Have a successful day.